Okay, so what we've done is we've constructed a main above uh, above ground pond. The pond's dimensions are uh, 13 feet by 5 feet by 3 feet. Uh, we calculated it, and it's roughly around 1,500 gallons of water for the main pond. The fish, uh, the fish that will provide the nutrition or the nutrients for the system, will reside in here. Okay, so what we got then. Down here at the bottom of the other end of this pipe is a sump pump. It's pushing water up into what I've constructed, uh, what we call a squirrel filter. This is the main, I guess I'll call it the heart and soul of it, because, uh, other than providing nutrients. This actually, the purpose of this is to uh, remove particulate matter, and I'll explain how that, how that happens. So, water comes in. to the swirl filter. You can see it down there. It's coming in. It's it got it at a 45 degree angle PVC. It starts a, uh, a whirlpool effect, a centrifugal uh, effect, so that any particular matter that comes into the swirl filter will be pushed towards the outside of the swirl filter and then eventually drop to the bottom. These two pipes here, this one here is the exit, this one is the overflow. One's a little bit lower than that one. Okay, so the water that's a, that's leaving the swirl filter through via that pipe comes out here. So the nutrient-rich water exits the swirl filter via this two-inch PVC. You can see the media beds here. Off of the off of them, I've, I'm teeing off one-inch PVC at the bottom of the lava rock here. Okay. At the bottom of the lava rock here is a manifold that the nutrient-rich water extrudes from, filling up the media, a media bed that has the lava rock. You can see how wet the lava rock is, and that provides the nutrients, and the water, of course, is the delivery mechanism for the plants. It then, the water exits via a drain at this end, into another 2 inch PVC that goes all the way down here underneath and into what will be the feeder fish barrel. Okay, so this is what we call the feeder fish barrel. So once the nutrient-rich water filters through the media beds, providing the nutrition for the plants and things of that sort, it enters into the, the barrel here, okay? And this is nothing more than just a receptacle to hold the water. We're going to screen this off and then eventually stock feeder fish in here that will, will be able to transplant to the main pond to feed the main fish that are providing the nutrition to the plants. And so... It exits back into the pond for re recycling. And there you have it.